All right. We cool? Everything all right? Look, I don't trust New Year's no more, okay? We gonna come in this shit real quiet. We ain't gonna touch nothing. And we gonna see how this shit goes. What is up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in Blade. It's your boy, Big Homie Biz, and it's been a long time. A long time. We need something insane and slightly confusing to start this shit off. Yep, that'll do it. We're talking blading here every single week. That was untrue for the last month, but that's just because 2020 is a cruel mistress. If you're new to this series, consider subscribing and following. Also like this video and share it with the homies because blading is for everyone, truly. Before we start this off, I personally wanna say thank you to everyone who showed love and caring when my mom passed. I mean, this shit has been crazy. We're still picking up the pieces, but honestly, I, this is, I haven't felt this good in a month, so I really appreciate y'all. But some of y'all do not care though. Just wondering when Twib come back in hopes that I'll talk about your four minutes stepping onto a play rail edit. But you know, yin and yang to everything. We're gonna start this off with products and we have way too many. I mean, I missed a month, so I got a lot of catching up to do. So I don't know if you know this, but a lot of shit can happen in blading in a month. Did you know? Did you? I had no idea. So if it seems like I'm speeding through all this shit, it's because I am. There's a lot. Let's start it off with the Stronger Than Ever brand. Say hello to the Razor Shift Gray and the Loca Lilac. That just rolls off the tongue. Loca Lilac. Loca Lilac. I love that. Aren't they just beautiful? Gorgeous. I can't look at them too long. I was wondering when we're gonna get some new shifts because it's been cult season for a little while now. Both come stock with ground control feather light frames, custom rain liners, and wheels. That roll. Damn it, I'm rusty. Your favorite shop should have these already, so make sure you get on them. Carla, I saw your clip in the Locas, okay? I liked it, and I need more. About three or four more edits. Please and thank you. Ground control. AKA Razor's frames has some new colorways to their aluminum tri-frame for 2021. And they give them a butterflies, they're so cute. They have new 110 and 125 versions with matching wheels. Somebody is going to buy these, combine them, and then mismatch all of them, and it's gonna look fucking horrible. I already know. <sighs> Bladers are so predictable sometimes. These things are available now, so get on that. The baby blue is calling my name. Can't you hear it? In the distance? Far away, ready for me to go? Undercover is handing out wheels like candy. With a late addition to the Cosmic Collection, the Signal coming in at 65 millimeters and 88 hardness, a pro wheel for your boy Roman abroad at 64 mil, and the first pro wheel for the Spanish destroyer Mary Munoz at 60 mil. I'm just so proud. I love her and her skating so much. Both of the pro wheels are aluminum core. And are part of the TV line of wheels. They look amazing and need to be on people's feet, like your feet. They need to be on your feet. Go get them. USD has been hard at work for the last month of the shittiest year that my generation has experienced. Grandpa, I'm not including the depression. Chill. They dropped five skates. For real? Five? In a month? Who does that? They dropped the Aeon 60 Team 21 in all black. Fucking stealth mode. Fucking Michael Blackson black. Fucking Burt Chicken black. They dropped the new Pro Aeon for your boy Sam Crofts in Bompton color. That shit threw up the set on me and everything. A new Pro Sway boot for Montre the Goat Livingston, the third of its kind. Denying that Montre is a goat is like saying Tampico isn't delicious. You can't do it. I mean, you'll say it in public to be a dick, but behind closed doors, you got gallons and gallons of this shit. I forgot what I was saying, but Tampico is delicious. They gave an Aeon 72 to your boy Roman Abrat, but they put 68 mil wheels in there. In a blue, white, and yellow colorway, and I hope they used better paint, because that's gonna be a white, white, and yellow colorway in just a few sessions. And the last of these is a Shop Collab Aeon 60 with Loco Skate Shop, black with all white bottoms. And like, who doesn't like all white bottoms? It's classic and clean. 
Also, side note, how does Loco keep getting these collabs for real? They just had the Rosies one. I'm pretty sure they're knocking on Julio's door right now like, hey, John, we need a skate. All of these delicious colorways are available now. Make sure you get that. I don't know if you thought we were done, but we are not. Them Skates gave us two new skates last month. Two. Dos. I don't have any other languages I could just call up right now. Two new completes and they're both collabs. One for Too Easy, that's my boys, that's my dog. And the other for the Sunday Brunch Crew. Both black 909s. The Too Easy skates come with black frames and yellow highlighter wheels that just fucking pop and an eight ball on the cuff. The brunch setup comes with white them frames and white wheels with a beautiful design on them as well. If you're in the market for a new black boot, here you go. You're welcome. There's two of them. They might still have your size left. Okay, I'm sure that there's a gang of shit out there that I missed because this holiday season was fucking crazy. But let's move on or this shit's gonna be like an hour long. We're doing wheels and deals. This one is old, but we're doing it anyway. The unsignable China wire stall is now riding for Rollerbender with a pro clothing line coming soon. I want a pro clothing line. Can you imagine? Pro drip? I've said this a million times before. China can literally just take whatever sponsor she wants. And she knows that. I just think she prefers the freedom, which makes sense. I don't even ride for Moonshine, but I'm not riding anything else. Biz for Moonshine 2021. But in all seriousness, I really hope this works out for her because China is one of the best rollerbladers out there. She deserves all the praise, all the shine, all the glory. Pro clothing line. Could you imagine a biz pro clothing line? Because I talked about Moonshine for five seconds, let's talk about how they fucked around and picked up Dennis Lopez. When you talk about swag, consistency, control, you gotta bring my man's name up in conversation. Whether it's in front or behind the camera, Dennis knows how to make skating look good. And is one of the most humbled skaters I know. I know this is coming from the Moonshine post, but it's also how I feel. Congratulations, Dennis, and really dope pickup on Moonshine's end for real. Now, if we can just get a talented show host in there, we'll be in big business. Mina Lee, the swaggiest Korean 18 year old you'll ever see has left Zero Type. There's not much news about the departure, but she's still skating and still killing it. Here's an upgraded version of her true fish from last year. I really hope she gets swooped up quick. I mean, she's been riding USDs, so I hope they take notice. I'm just trying to plug y'all in like a light, okay? Open your eyes and make some moves. Speaking of USD, they got a new pro last month, and he might be one of the swaggiest members of the squad now. I might get in trouble for that last one, but you know, I've gotten it for way less. Ryan Parker joins the squad and he seems to be happy in his new home. His announcement edit kind of broke the rollerblading world for a bit because a lot of us forgot what it's like to have actual style and good looking tricks. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Kinda. Congratulations, Ryan. I really hope they treat you right, man, because you deserve it. Keep killing that shit. Last trade of the day is an actual trade. Montre Livingston, you know the GOAT we literally just talked about, has left BHC Wheels and got picked up by Wynn, you know, that brand that's built on winners, and is joining Julian Bob, Bobby Spazoff, and Yuto Guto. I thought it was kind of weird until I did some digging and realized that the two have parted ways, but it's all love. BHC also posted a farewell saying, and I quote, Monche will be moving on to explore a new chapter in his skating career. And although he won't be part of our team, he'll always be a part of our family. Where Montre also responded positively. See, a lot of times when changes are made, they're not all bad. I mean, it doesn't have to be drama all the time. This isn't MTV. I can't wait to see what the future holds with Montre and the Wind brand. Keep it locked here and I'll give you updates when I get them. Okay, those are the wheels and the deals. So much shit, man. You take one month off and it happens to be the busiest month in blading, apparently. Let's get into these videos, yeah? We're gonna talk about my homies first because, fuck you, this is my show. The LTE boys finally put out an hour long video for free called Up To No Good. And that shit right there, fuego. You're gonna be on the edge of your seat the entire time feeling like you're watching some shit you're not supposed to be watching. The theme of the video is someone's leaking all the parts, so the host is really up to no good. Yeah, full parts from Jaylord Santos, Dennis Lopez, Sam and Josh Jeter, Joey Lunger, Jeremy Soderberg, and so much more. I even share a section with Juan Martinez and Kay Luz, 
and you really need to watch them, okay? I just set the shit off. I don't know if you noticed this, but all three of us, for at least one trick, is riding the same skates. Did we plan it? Maybe. It's seriously a good watch from music selection to the skating. Make sure you check that out. Casey Garrity gave us more cheese. Okay, look, if you don't have constipation at this point, you have one hell of a digestive system, okay? Because this shit is getting out of hand. This installment is more relaxed than the others, but that does not mean it is any less fire. Make sure you pick up some lactate pills and check this shit out. Lake Effect is a Chicago and Rockford, Illinois blade flick put together by Yonjo Silverio and the boys. And it's definitely something you need to put on your watch list ASAP. Everybody did their thing, but bruh, Matt Luda? This man is on a whole nother plane. Make sure you check this video out. The whole thing's about 30 minutes, so you have some time to settle in and get comfy. You will get juiced, I promise. Do you ever think about how get juiced can be taken weird for people who don't rollerblade? Okay, so we know that the Too Easy Them Skates collab exists and it's amazing. But to make shit better, they gave a pair to Ali Prado and that boy went to work. There wasn't a single stair unbashed. This was basically a stair bashing edit. And all of them fakey, I might add. Fakey means backwards. There's a lot of newbies here. It's short and sweet and the heel bomb at the end seals the deal. You remember when Dre Powell fakey threed into a stair bash? Prado is the next to wear that crown. Make sure you check this out and check the skates out. They go hand in hand. Zach Savage put out his 2020 profile for gods and ghetto community and let the world know he is not playing around. For real, you don't know how much work a person has put in until you see them all back to back to back to back like this. It's astounding. Make sure you check this one out. Speaking of gods, if Tim Franken doesn't get the next pro boot, I'm throwing hands. And that's based solely off this edit by Butter TV. I watch this shit over and over and over. And it just gets better each time. Also, JP, listen to me. Never stop filming Tim. Make all of his sections, please. 1159 is Tim Franken fucking up New Jersey from late summer to like the end of fall. And when I say fucking up, I mean, doing really cool tricks and landing them well. Look, I threw away the thesaurus. Mostly filmed between like 6 p.m. to like three or four in the morning, this slumber party edit is nothing to put to bed. Make sure you check this out if you haven't already. Most of y'all haven't, because the view count is too low. Get the fuck on it. Last thing here, Oigen has 10 year. He's stuck on USD. He can't go nowhere else, and he can't be fired. Oigen has had his 10 year anniversary with the Universal Skate Design brand and put out an edit with a bunch of his clips from over the years. Look at baby Oigen, it's so cute. I just wanna tie his skate laces and send him on his way. It's crazy to see his progression though, from who he was then to the goat that he is now. And that hair! Make sure you check this out, it's really fun to watch. There are so many amazing projects that happened in the past month that I can't really get to. Make sure you head to bladerunion.com to check all of them out. They have everything. And I mean everything. Okay, that's gonna do it for videos. Let's do that thing that we all used to do. And I guess we might be able to do soon, as soon as this vaccine comes out, people start tripping and we get it going. Let's get social. It's a new year, we're not getting excited, but we do have to start this shit off right. And that means someone's gotta do it for the twib. Danielle McClowski has been on everyone's radar for a while now, and if you don't know, you better ask somebody. She's been killing it in the UK, and she's only getting stronger, like Thanos, every time he collects an Infinity Stone. I hit her up to do it for the twib, and she delivered. Very much so.
Seriously, thank you, Danielle. I can't wait to see more skating from you in the future. You can follow all of her socials in the description below or to the side if you're watching this on Instagram, on your computer, but like, why would you do that? Okay, I have something very important to say to you about this next edit, okay? Are you ready? It's some big shit. All right, here we go. Tony Woodlands does own shirts. I was just as surprised as you are right now. I thought he only buys pants. Tony put out a farewell 2020 edit that puts so many of yours to shame. I'm not kidding. Tony has honestly been putting in so much work last year and I hope it never stops. Watching talented skaters of color really sparks the next wave to get into it. I mean, that fool inspires me and indirectly makes me feel fat. But anyways, make sure you check this out and get juiced. He's seriously one of my favorite skaters right now. Aya Savozin did what I can only classify as some Russian ass shit on the gram this week. And he almost kills a chicken. I feel so bad for that chicken. He was just trying to live his clucking life. Aya hit us with a back Christ torque and a chicken coop. That's just weird. I'm here for it, but it's weird. My man's Jordan Williams has a super impressive edit on the gram. It's a minute 14, but he used every second of that shit to go off. I like that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Ledge Cult is an edit of your boy skating the new Colt Graphites and reminds us that the streets are not safe when your mans is around. Make sure you check this out because the more views and likes it gets, the more Razors takes him seriously. Nico Sotomayor announces next in line two, a blade flick slated for the end of 2021. Man, I'm all ready for this year to be over so I can watch dope blade films. The sequel features Corey Waikiki, Jake Dotson, Gene Stegall, Steven Babcock, Kyle Noti, and Nico Sotomayor. 13 years after the OG dropped, and you know those names. This video is gonna be good. A lot of spin to win though. Funny story, when your boy moved up here, I did a lot of research on Bay Area blading. Like I watched all the hyphies, first of all. And then I was on YouTube looking up a bunch of different stuff. And Next in Line was like one of the first videos I watched. And now all those guys are the homies. Who would have thought? I'll give you updates when I learn more. But for now, just be juiced. Okay, to end this section off, here's a clip of Alex Sam's that I really like. I think it's the hair covering his mouth for me. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for the first episode of This Week in Blade in 2021. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you're following bladerunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you wanna support them or this show directly, like your boy, Big Homie Biz, hit that link in the description. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the TWIB updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap. It works just as well as the Patreon, if not more because it gives me clout and I need it right now. For this week's ender, here's an illegal fast slide. They said no running around the pool, but they did not say anything about grinding.